Uh, my name is Dr. John Hung, and I'm an interventional cardiologist. I decided to become a doctor um, during my teenage years. I realized that uh, I quite enjoyed sciences. I quite enjoyed communicating with people. I'm quite a good people person. And after some early work experience, I realized that it's a good career to be able to help people on a regular basis, be able to advance my science uh, interests um, and the academic side of things. And also it's a, it's a lifelong pursuit. Um, it's not just a case of getting a job and then you're sort of set for life. It's a case of lifelong learning and that suits me really well. I chose cardiology because, um, well, I decided quite early on, I didn't want to be uh, a surgeon uh, for various reasons. I liked, I liked medicine. I, I liked the idea of, of being a, what we would call a physician and cardiology for me is the, the perfect blend of, uh, invasive and interventional practices, as well as the more bedside, um, the more, uh, communication based areas of practice where we have clinics and we see patients on ward rounds. So I'm lucky that I get to see patients from the start of their journey where they might present to us with symptoms or problems. I get to hear that, understand that, get to know them as a person, but then also take them through necessary investigations, perform the treatments that they need in many cases, and then get to see them again afterwards and see, you know, what difference we've made and how we've been able to help them. I, I think I'm quite lucky in my line of work that uh, I genuinely enjoy it. I look forward to going to work every day. And I think that's because, well, you know, medicine is not unique in this way, but we, we do have the opportunity to make a tangible difference to, to patients' lives. And in cardiology, of course, the heart's a pretty important organ. Um, sometimes it is life and death. And, you know, making somebody live longer than they otherwise would have done is, is clearly a um, a great thing to be able to do, but it's not just that it's, it's also about patients who have debilitating symptoms, which affects their quality of life. And I see a lot of those patients who, uh, otherwise are unable to go about their business, can't do their jobs, can't do the sports that they want to do. And if we can do something to, to really help them with that and improve their quality of life, not just the length of their life, then I think that's really valuable. What do my patients value about me? Uh, I think patients find me to be um, approachable and patient and um, I'm a pretty good listener. And I think that's what is really important as a patient. People need to feel like they've got the opportunity to tell the doctor what's on their mind, to tell them what their problem is. And if we don't appreciate that, then we don't stand the chance of, of being able to provide the treatment that, that they need. So uh, that's important to me to um, make sure that patients have a good two-way communication. I think patients also find me quite to the point and uh, direct when needed. Um, I think it's, it's important to have clear communication and for everybody to, to understand where we are and where, where we intend to go. Uh, in cardiology, we're, we're quite lucky that um, most of our patients do come back and um, we get to follow them all the way through the patient journey. And uh, when a patient comes to me in the first place with chest pains, for example, or breathlessness, I get to diagnose them, potentially treat them. And um, some of the most rewarding moments are when those patients return to me afterwards and everything has changed for them and I've improved their symptoms or you know their treatment has improved their symptoms and they feel better. And obviously patients value quality of life as much as the length of their life. Um, it's really rewarding to, to know that you can um, improve a patient's quality of life in that way. Well, I've got, I've got a few mantras and a few catchphrases, um, not in a Bruce Forsyth kind of way, but just sort of rules that um, I tend to, to, to practice by. And um, one of them is that we were all given two ears and one mouth, and that's how you should use them, I think. Um, I think patients really value the opportunity to be able to spend time with their doctor and to explain really what it is that's troubling them. And then for us to be able to listen and um, give them give them that facility so that you can understand really their genuine problems and be able to address them in full. So um, listening is an important skill that I think um, patients really value. 
Another one uh, is um, another value which I tend to practice by is, um, is, is about getting it right first time. Um, in fact, there was a, a piece of work in the NHS recently called Get It Right First Time. And I think when you consider the patient-doctor interaction, when you consider healthcare in general, um, it's really important that we get it right first time. And that's about listening to patients, understanding what their problem is, and being able to address that in a collaborative way going forwards.